Hello everyone, my name is Mao T and of course you're watching Mao T World People. Today we will have another video. I don't be bored you so long, I promise. Uh, that people, uh, top five, the common mistakes and we do with vaporization, okay? <clears throat> Before we start this video, please don't forget like, share, and if you're new, subscribe, because this really helps in this channel. Uh, stick to likes and subscribe, uh, likes and shares because YouTube not really like in the um, vape content that and the every time they squeeze this on the you know the darkest darkest corner of YouTube. That if you can do that, I'd be more than happy. Let's say that people, it's time to start our journey with vaporization. Oh, we. Okay, let's go. Number one, uh, this is about in the you buy your vaporizers, you have in the you open your box, and what do you do? Most of the people take this, open, put in the wheat, and start vaping, or you know, charge and start vaping. Um, that is first mistake, and this is common mistake. And I done this mistake. Many people done this mistake in the first time in the use and the vaporizers. After a while, we say, oh shit, maybe I should do that, or we learn in the front, whatever. That people cleaning is quite important and the first before in the you start vaporize um, and coming new device. I don't care. This isn't the high end stuff or in the cheap vaporizers. You clean everyone and the before you start vape. It, it, it's common sense to do. It's the same if you be used for normal vaping and the, um, you know, e juice and nicotine. That you do the same. You clean the stuff. It, it, it's the same with your dishes. It's the same with your bong you buy or your pipe. You should clean this. That, of course, you don't be wash this. That you be using the rubber alcohol and the little, you know, um, little cubic uh, Q-tips and maybe some in the wipes as well with rubber alcohol. Uh, you know, the 420 vape, little in the wipes or 420 wipes, uh, whatever you you like to use. That. This is this is first one plus on this and the point you should heat your your stuff that after cleaning put on on the high setup and the go whatever this is sessionable or that and Dyna vape on demand and Dyna vape exactly tell you or used to say I remember in the nineteen exactly tell you to uh, go two cycles with nothing inside with no help inside the two empty and the chamber surplus to burn everything if you something be stay. That after cleaning is good to do that. That you burn all stuff and with Da Vinci full work, one round, maybe two if you want for safety way, and you quite shouldn't you be have beautiful flavor. Because very often we have funky flavor on the beginning because you don't clean stuff on the first place. You open box and you presume this should be clean. <sighs> yeah, it's not. Very often is not. Um, that remember about that. Uh, people, number two. It's about really how we grind wheat, and you should check what your exactly vaporizer like. You know, this is not how you like, this is how your vaporizer like on this point. It's kind of the paint of the paint of um how you and the grind your your vape your vaporizer be performed. Uh, example, if I and the shovel and the huge knack and the push down and the, my convection vaporizer, this don't be in the work well. With conduction, yeah, with convection, not so much. That um, I recommend really, most of vaporizers work beautifully on the medium grind. This would most like, some like in the powdery and that, only it's not so many what really like that. Mostly be on this medium grind. That remember about that to check this and how you pack your ball is quite important as well. You uh, with convection, um, with convection you must kind of put inside wheat on it. Don't squeeze down with conduction. Yeah, you can pack it fully. It's better work. The more you put, the better work. I'm serious. With another one, unless you put the better work, it, it, it's kind of you must find the you and the um you know the good spot. Uh, that this is number two people. Number three, 
most of people, I don't know why, maybe because we like these clouds and all that stuff and I've done the same mistake, we go high whack, full whack, full high, 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 you know, and the heat because we want these clouds and that. And really people, if you do that, you lose a lot. Start go from low and, uh, you know, in moment that you do your sesh, you go a little up and the up and up. Easier for you to find your sweet spot. You extract beautifully whole cannabinoids, what you need from, you know, the low temp to high temp. Trust me, try that. If you still don't like it that way and you say, hey, I like only in the hot and the banner and the huge cloud, hey, that is up to you. However, it's good to do that. That this was number three. People, number four, it's inhalation, how you inhale your, you know, um, your, your cannabis or your dry herbs uh, using vaporizer. And very often people complain and vaporizer don't perform well and all that stuff because, you know, don't give you clouds and that. And most of the time it's not vaporizer fault, it's exactly your fault because you take too quick drops. You don't want, you don't want to do that. You want to take the slowest how it's possible. And one exemption from that, it's in the Dynavape that highly recommended for all of the people what's in the start and the beginning, go to and, uh, you know, to vape and vaporization and all that stuff and dry, dry herbs. I think th this is the best uh, device to kind of introduce you easy way. You don't need uh, hustle around. You can different use different techniques with this and stacking and the puffing and the long and, you know, and, and inhale that you can do different ways. And it's kind of forgivable. Um, only with Da Vinci, if you want a really good performance, you must go slow. With this, really, you must learn how speed up, how slow down. It's 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 different device that take on your mind as well. If your vaporizer don't perform well, first maybe you put bad way in the weed, no grind enough, not pack enough, or you overpack, depend of what you use, or you take two quick draws. That is happened. Okay, <clears throat> and number five. One with the, I think the very important and the most of us very often it's too lazy and forgot and it's cleaning our stuff. Uh, I like, I use in the, my DynaVape the daily and I tell you people and I like clean, quick clean, maybe in the middle of the week and my Friday or Saturday, it's in the deep cleaning uh, and this stuff that I really do this in the two times per week. And people true is, in more time you do, and in often you do, cleaning, the meal vaporizer be better perform. That you don't be have um, the hot spots, you don't be having the funky flavors and all. And, and later on, people, trust me, I, I, I used to go into the good two, three weeks on the one my DynaVape and take me two, three hours to exactly clean this through and soak in alcohol and scrub this and that. Two minutes if you do this very, very often. Um, that people, that, that be that's it. I think that we have top five, the most common mistake what people do with, with, with vaporizer. Um, but people, hopefully you like this video. Uh, let me know in comments and uh, another mistakes what we do. Uh, or you agree with me or don't agree or disagree. And that I say, people, please don't forget to like uh, and share this because this really helps. And if you're new and if you wish to subscribe and this see more, hey, I'm here. You're welcome. And people, if you want to have more chat about vaporization and all that shit, I do live streams very often that uh, you can every time join, ask them my, me questions and uh, that you be have straight away respond. Because sometimes with comment, you know how it is, it's go, I forgot and you know, all that. Uh, people, I say that. Thank you very much. Hopefully you enjoyed and see you next time.